for tuning into my channel on modern living and joining me in my kitchen today where I'm going to be making my very favorite pie raspberry custard now it's my favorite pie for two reasons one because it's delicious and second of all because it's super easy to whip up and it turns out great every time I've never had one that didn't turn out the other great thing about raspberry custard pie is if you happen to have a pre-made shell or pick one up at the grocery store and some raspberries whether they're fresh or frozen that's really all you need to make this delicious pie other than a few ingredients that I'm sure you already have in your kitchen. Now, I do have a, a link in my description below for making a pie from scratch, a pie pastry from scratch. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and do that. If you're not interested in making pie pastry, that's totally cool. You can still use this recipe. Just buy a pie shell at the grocery store and you're good to go. Now, I often make this recipe with frozen raspberries and there's really no difference in the outcome. Other than that, I find the raspberries bake into the custard. Either way, you start the pie by just putting your raspberries into your pie shell. So today, just so that you can see the difference, I'm gonna make one with frozen berries and one from berries that I actually picked this morning from my parents' garden. Uh, it's just the end of June here in Southwestern Ontario and these berries are super fresh and just starting to come on. If you tune in next week to my video, I'm actually going to be to, in their garden talking about the different kinds of raspberries they have. So if you're interested in gardening and raspberries, tune in next week to see that. But as I said, uh, once you get those in the pie shell, you don't probably need a whole quart. Um, I find more berries are better, but man, they're delicious. Either way, end result is your ber berries are in your pie shell ready to go. Now, in order to make your custard filling, all you're gonna do, I'm just gonna set these off to the side so you can see what I'm doing here. Once you've got your berries into your pie shell, all you're going to do now is mix up the custard. Pretty simple. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first take a three quarter cup of sugar, put it in a bowl, and to it I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of flour. Now I know you normally I use traditional measuring spoons, but since it's a heaping tablespoon, it's not an exact measurement regardless. And honestly, my mama just taught me to go like that. And then I'm just gonna whisk it together. I do wanna get that flour and sugar mixed together really, really well to start with. And then to that mixture, I'm going to add two eggs. So here's one and two. Now I got a little bit of shell, so I'm just gonna use my eggshell here to get that out, perfect. And one more little bit right there, beautiful. Once my eggs are in the bowl, I'm just gonna give them a little whisk and mix that all together. Now that's gonna make a really thick mixture. But that's no problem. Because to that, we're going to add a half a cup of milk. And again, just whisking it in. You want to get it nice and mixed in. Beautiful. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my custard mixture and I'm going to pour it over top of my berries in their pie plate. Just like that. Beautiful. Now the finishing touch is a very light dash of cinnamon. Now I mean very light, so you don't wanna just kinda of pour it on there, it's all it's gonna taste like is cinnamon. You just wanna give it a wee tiny sprinkle, very lightly, just a little bit. You don't wanna make the cinnamon the overpowering flavor, but you, it, it does add to the pie to have a little bit in there. Okay, there you go. Now I'm just gonna mix up the second one before I pop them in the oven together. There we go, just like that. Second one is ready to roll. Now again, like I said earlier, if you're interested in gardening and in growing your own raspberries, tune in next week or check in the comments or the link in the bio below. I'm going to, once I have my uh, video about raspberries posted, I'll make sure that I add it to, this, to the description below this video. Okay, so that's got my second, second uh, custard poured on. And like I said, just a real light little bit of cinnamon. Perfect. Now here's the part that I always found super frustrating. So again, this is a recipe passed down from my mom and from her mom and it's Grandma Schwarzentruber's raspberry custard pie. 
The recipe says bake until done. What the heck does bake until done mean when you don't know what you're doing baking pie? For me, what it means, every oven's a little different. So it takes a little bit of um, trial and error and just really watching things while they're baking. Uh, number one tip my mom told me about baking a pie, put it in the bottom rack of your oven. It'll, if possible, it'll, it'll bake up nicer in the bottom rack of your oven. And the first 15 minutes or so, you wanna have the temperature a little higher, and then you wanna turn it back by about 25 degrees. So I have a convection oven at my house, so I'm gonna start my pies off at 375 for about 15 minutes, then I'm gonna turn them down. And I'm probably gonna bake them for another half hour or so, but I'm gonna check them after 20 minutes, and then I'll check them after half an hour, and I'm gonna pull them out when they're done. Now, again, what does that mean? You're gonna see, I'll show you my video. Once they get to that stage, they're gonna set up and they're gonna get kind of firm and you'll see what I mean. But for now, it's time to pop them in the oven. These pies look fantastic. Both the fresh raspberries and the frozen. Just gonna pop that in right here on my bottom rack. Just like that. And in 15 minutes, I'll turn them back. And after that, I'll check on them every once in a while until they're done. Okay, so it's time to check our pies and see how we're doing here. So certainly if it needs a bit more time, I wouldn't hesitate to do that. This is the one with the fresh berries in it and this is the one with the frozen berries. So they do look a little different, but you can see when I give them a little wiggle, they've really set up well. That custard is, is nice and firm in there and that's what you're looking for. So when it says bake until done, this is what done looks like. So it's really just time to take those pies out of the oven and let them cool and cut them and they'll be ready to serve. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and share them with a friend who might also want to learn how to make a fresh raspberry custard pie.